from the storyteller to the listeners. When you read or listen to these very old stories, if you wonder how much is really true, the Buddha gave some advice that might help. He said that when you listen to what a monk says you should test the meaning, weigh or consider it, and depend on your own insides to know the truth of it. Then follow and practice what you know to be true. The What Not Tree, Prudence Once upon a time there was a caravan leader. He went from country to country selling various goods. His caravans usually had at least 500 bull lock carts. On one of these trips his path led through a very thick forest. Before entering it, he called together all the members of the caravan. He warned them, My friends, when you go through this forest be careful to avoid the poisonous trees, poisonous fruits, poisonous leaves, poisonous flowers and even poisonous honeycombs. Therefore, whatever you have not eaten before, whether a fruit, leaf, flower or anything else, must not be eaten without asking me first. They all said respectfully, Yes, sir. There was a village in the forest. Just outside the village stood a tree called What Not Tree. Its trunk, branches, leaves, flowers and fruits look very similar to a mango tree. Even the color, shape, smell and taste are almost exactly the same as a mango tree. But unlike a mango, the what not fruit is a deadly poison. Some went ahead of the caravan and came upon the what not tree. They were all hungry, and the what not fruits looked like delicious ripe mangoes. Some started eating the fruits immediately, without thinking at all. They devoured them before anyone could say a word. Others remembered the leader's warning, but they thought this was just a different variety of mango tree. They thought they were lucky to find ripe mangoes right next to a village. So they decided to eat some of the fruits before they were all gone. There were also some who were wiser than the rest. They decided it would be safer to obey the warning of the caravan leader. Although they didn't know it, he just happened to be the enlightenment being. When the leader arrived at the tree, the ones who had been careful and not eaten asked, Sir, what is this tree? Is it safe to eat these fruits? After investigating thoughtfully he replied, No, no. This may look like a mango tree, but it isn't. It is a poisonous what-not tree. Don't even touch it. The ones who had already eaten the what-not fruit were terrified. The caravan leader told them to make themselves vomit as soon as possible. They did this, and then were given four sweet foods to eat, raisins, cane sugar paste, sweet yogurt and peas honey. In this way their taste buds were refreshed after throwing up the poisonous what-not fruit. Unfortunately, the greediest and most foolish ones could not be saved. They were the ones who had started eating the poisonous fruits immediately, without thinking at all. It was too late for them. The poison had already started doing its work, and it killed them. In the past, when caravans had come to the what-not tree, the people had eaten its poisonous fruits and died in their sleep during the night. The next morning the local villagers had come to the campsite. They had grabbed the dead bodies by the legs, dragged them to a secret hiding place, and buried them. Then they had taken for themselves all the merchandise and bullock carts of the caravan. They expected to do the same thing this time. At dawn the next morning the villagers ran towards the what-not tree. They said to each other, the bullocks will be mine. I want the carts and wagons. I will take the loads of merchandise. But when they got to the what-not tree they saw that most of the people in the caravan were alive and well. In surprise, they asked them, how did you know this was not a mango tree? They answered, we did not know but our leader had warned us ahead of time, and when he saw it he knew. Then the villagers asked the caravan leader, O oh wise one, how did you know this was not a mango tree? He replied, I knew it for two reasons. First, this tree is easy to climb. And second, it is right next to a village. If the fruits on such a tree remain unpicked, they cannot be safe to eat. Everyone was amazed that such life-saving wisdom was based on such simple common sense. The caravan continued on its way safely. The moral is, the wise are led by common sense, fools follow only hunger. Oh, wow.